Ever since Elemental 3.12 came out, the Mega Menu is now available for us to start using on our live website. You gotta make sure you go over to Elemental and your settings, go down to the Features area and scroll down and make sure the menu is activated. Of course, you gotta have Flexbox Container and the nested elements activated as well. And when you type in Menu, you will see the menu appear here. This is the Mega Menu. The old nav menu is actually now called the WordPress menu. I'm not a massive fan of the word WordPress being there because it is still an elemental menu and I would have liked them to have called this mega menu, again, just to make it a little bit clearer. Let's go and drop in the old menu and we'll drop in the new mega menu as well. In fact, I went and typed in meg and it kind of went to the word menu. So it is classed as a mega menu behind the scenes. Something quite interesting there, don't you think? Anyway, look, there's our menu, our fake one on our fake website. And we have our titles per page or how we've defined it. And if you click on one of them, it will take you to the page. If you did not want that to be called GM Adaptive, you would normally go into appearance menus and change the navigation label. That's all good and well. But with the mega menu, you just get item one, two, and three. But what's really good about that is if I decide, okay, I want item number one, let's go over here. I now want this to say mega button, oh yeah, I can do that. And I can then go and put in my URL. So let's just pretend I want this to go to the GM adaptive page like that. There we go. So you don't have to go all the way back to your appearance menus. Like, you know, if you're doing it on the fly, oh, I've got to go there and then I've got to come back. And to be honest, it gets really easy after this. Remember that our menu at the moment is sat in a container, just like if you were building your menu in a section or a container, you go and stylize it, give it a background color, your margin, your padding, etc. But when it comes to the actual mega menu, and for now, I'm just going to get rid of items two and three, and you can add as many items as you want, you can select drop down content. And this is where the mega menu really comes into its own. But let's just pause for a moment and just double check all of the other features that you have available within the mega menu. You can decide if it's a horizontal layout or a drop down. And if I'll just show you here, because you probably can't see it. So that would have been like your mobile toggle button that we were very much used to. Let's put it back to horizontal. You can decide on the positioning. Now, if I had more than one item in here, it would have stretched them out and you might have had three of them, you know, with space between. But for now, we're just gonna leave it as start. You have the menu toggle option where you can decide on, you know, where the toggle is on the left or right or the center. Now, I have, I've skipped the drop down effect because I'm gonna come back onto that in a moment. Well, let's now go back to the layout. Go to item number one, and we are gonna now say drop down content. If I click the arrow, we now have the area or a container where we can go and build out what will be shown when you click. Now at the moment, you are clicking to see that. We will change it to only be visible when you hover over it. And this is like, if you're used to Flexbox container, and we did do a video a few days ago just to remind you, this is what you do. I could go in like here, go and pick this particular layout and I could pop in whatever I want. I could pop in an image over here. I could pop in some text here and I can make the text expand. I mean, I can duplicate it as well. I can do what I want, literally. I could even put in another WordPress menu and say, okay, let's make it vertical like this. Uh, I'll definitely get rid of the underline. And I might then say that the mobile drop down never occurs. So we don't get a toggle and another toggle within it. But I could stylize this to be however I want. Here we have the drop down container. And then here we have the two containers that are sat inside of there. And by the way, there might be more containers depending on how it's been built out uh, with the particular layout. But I could go to my child container, which is where item one, which has been generated by item one. I could go over to my style and turn it into a column approach. I mean, that looks really ridiculous. Why would you do that? But what I wanted to get across is Everything you do in containers with your styling, you can now do here. So if I was to now just hit update for a moment and we just preview this, if I hover, oh, sorry, it is already on hover. I said click before, didn't I? Sorry, it is already on hover. When you hover over here, this now allows you to start interacting with any of the items. So you could even have a button. You could have a subscribe form. You could have a contact form. You can have products in here. You could have videos in here and you just hit the play button. There's so much you can do. Let's just go back over to our item number one. 
Let's go to where it says drop down effect. And at the moment, this opens on hover. If I was to change it to click, you have to now click to basically open and close it. I would strongly recommend for mega menus, you leave it on hover, which is one of the main reasons why we do have mega menu. And if I go back to my layout, for simplicity, I'm just gonna duplicate what we have here. You know, you could have renamed it. Remember what I said about the layout, you could space it left, right, and all of that. And if I now preview it, by the way, please do remember that I have duplicated all of my items, but look, you can see what happens. Look, you get, you can see them reappearing there. But you could have like a product item and then inside of there, you've got like an icon list or another menu, even buttons and each one goes off elsewhere. But there are some limitations to the mega menu. There always was going to be. Everything drops below. You can't put the mega menu at the bottom of your screen or to the side of your screen unless you're very clever about it because all of your items will open below. So if you were gonna say, put your mega menu over here with some absolute or fixed positioning, and then your mega menu kind of goes like that in a horizontal way, every time someone hovers over it, you might not see the items unless you've been very clever with how thin or narrow it was. At the moment, we have a toggle button. You click it, you get the items appear. And again, remember, you can stylize how, um, how spaced they are, etc. But if I now go over to my, ooh, yeah, I do that. This is how it looks. And it might now go on and on and on and on, which really makes menus not that very user friendly. So you've got to think about your content. But this is where you might want to chop and change and do something different. So I might say, okay, the mega menu is fine on the desktop or the tablet, but on the mobile, you might want to have a traditional navigation menu or even have a pop-up off canvas menu that comes in and you responsibly hide. Or you might say, okay, this is all good and well, but these two text items, we are going to, let me just go into that one there, go to advanced, go to responsive, and we might say hide that the mobile. What you gotta do though is weigh up how important those items are for the mobile view as well. Remember on the mobile, we like to, we move quicker. Whereas on the desktop, we might not mind if there was more going on because we can see it all you know, with our eyes. But mobile, we're very like scroll up and down. Either way, you can really make this work for you. And I think it's about time we had the mega menu. Not everyone is gonna use it, but in terms of simplicity, if you are okay with Flexbox Container, you got full on power now to do whatever you want. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time for the pain. Let the grind, I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that stack. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the pen.